In this video, we want to organize the model and nest the staircase components and groups into one item. What happens in our model, if we look at the outliner, you can see we have the groups of just the first floor and second floor that we organized earlier. But now we have all these individual little groups. We have these railing definitions for the components. And they're all individual elements. To keep this organized and to keep it all together, we can nest all of these groups and components into one group called the staircase. Easiest way to do that is with the select tool. Simply just want to select your elements. So we will use the select tool with shift to select multiple objects here. So in the first case, we're just going to select all of the railings and spindles. So with all of those selected, we can now right click and make this a group. Let's now select all of the stairs. You can either press G or right click and make this a group. And as you can see in the outliner, we now have these two groups, the railings and the staircase. And depending on your model preference, you could keep those separate. So you can hide and unhide those. Or I prefer just to keep that all together. So we'll select both of them and then group that. In our group definition then, we can right click and rename this and call this entire element the staircase. We can rename this group as well. Call this the railings. And rename this one, call this the stairs. Now that's really just a personal preference. You don't have to use Outliner to rename your groups. It helps if you have more complex groups and you need to quickly move through items. So that's it for this chapter. The next thing that we want to do is create the windows and doors. And I'll show you a couple techniques in creating those, as well as a great plugin that will make creating trim, windows, and openings a lot quicker and a lot more detailed.